great movies. Ah, oh, man. This movie had it all. It had action, drama, comedy, suspense, and dance. It's on cinema at the cinema with me, your host, Tim Heidecker. Hi, everybody. My name is Tim Heidecker, and I'm the host of On Cinema at the Cinema. Thanks for watching, and it is a show about movies and reviews of movies. And my name is, oh, uh, my guest is uh, Greg Turkington. Hey, guys. Good to be here on another uh, edition of On Cinema. Well, our movies today is the uh, Oz, The Great and Powerful, directed by Sam Raimi. And it stars James Franco as Oz and Milan Kouris, uh, Mila Kouris and Michelle Williams, who's very uh, good looking in, as a woman, is a, uh, does, you know. It's not really what the movie's about, though. This is a sequel to The Wizard of Oz, which. Prequel to The Wizard of Oz, um, in which we find out how Oz became so great and powerful. And I would say it's about time because uh, those of us who are Oz freaks have been waiting since 1939, which is when the last Wizard of Oz movie came out. It was an MGM uh, picture starring Judy Garland. Oh. And to wait this long to find out the next chapter is a kind of a burden a lot of people have passed on who saw the original and never got a chance to see the next chapter. And so that's kind of a shame. And as much as I love this movie, and I do love it, and just a preview, I will be giving it five bags of popcorn, um, I miss the munchkins. I gotta say, I miss the munchkins. I never thought uh, I would hear myself say that. <laughs> and I know a lot of them, again, have passed away because they waited too long, but uh, there is still one of the original munchkins is still alive, and he's going around the country and signing autographs and things, and to not include him in this movie, uh, after he's been an ambassador for Oz all these years is kind of a slap in the face. Oh, I wonder if he went to the premiere. I bet they didn't even give him an invitation. Mm. Yeah. Toto, too. That's another character that I loved as little dog Toto. And yeah. uh, I love it. From the original Wizard of Oz, one of the greatest, probably the most quotable lines in all of movie is... Uh, we're not in we're Kansas, not in Kansas anymore. anymore yeah. Toto. And they're not in Kansas in this movie, and I think that's kind of a flaw in the movie. Right. And I always like to use that expression when, for example, there's something strange going on or we're in a strange situation uh you know we had a, had a flight recently to uh phoenix and uh it was delayed and there was no ex you know, people were doing a terrible job of explaining what the delay was and i turned to my wife and i said we're not in kansas anymore toto well if the plane originated in kansas that would i mean that would be that right would make sense maybe two on the nose mm. well i still loved this movie despite Despite this film being munchkinless, I'm giving it four bags of popcorn. And Toto list too. Mm -hmm. Don't go to the theater expecting Toto. Uh, but still, four bags of popcorn. They lost a full bag of popcorn from me because of no munchkins. I'm going to say zero bags of popcorn because I'm going to say let's take Toto's old basket and fill that with popcorn and eat out of the basket, which is essentially five bags of popcorn. I love this movie. All right. Well, the second movie is Dead Man Down with Colin Farrell, my favorite actor. Uh, of my, not, I mean, Dennis Quaid's my favorite all-time all actor, but current cinema, current young actor, Colin Farrell. Of this generation. Yeah. Uh, it's a great, another great Colin Farrell movie. I feel like this guy doesn't know how to make bad movies. He's always in classics. Yeah, yeah, I've noticed that about him. It's all, you're always saying five bags of popcorn after his name. Right, so Colin Farrell gets the... Uh, Assured vote for the at least a nomination for best supporting best actor for Dead Man Down. Uh, that's my Oscar pick. It's tough, you know. Um, it can only do now that nowadays they do ten best picture nominations, and I feel like we burned those already through the first three months of this year with some of the movies that mm -hmm. we've been looking at. And I guess that's a good thing. We're living in good times, and this is a great movie. All right, Dead Man Down getting five bags of popcorn and three cups of soda from me. I'm going to give it uh, five bags of popcorn and a little uh, mace spray because there's some pretty shady characters in this mm -hmm. movie you might want to stay away from and protect yourself from. All right. Uh, now we're going to do a brand new segment on the show. It's an opportunity for me to uh, talk to you guys about stuff outside of film and c cinema. Excuse me. Outside of film and serious uh, stuff, not just With about tumor movies. Or... No, uh, this is my 60-second soapbox. <laughs> Hi, my name is Tim Heidecker and this is 60 Second Soapbox. You know, one of the big problems that we face is a question of what is the role of government in our lives? Now, you might say, 
that we need more government because we need more things. Uh, we need more things given to us. But it's a fact that when you look at the history, more the it is better to not tax so much and have not as much regulations. Um, you could look at the economics of it, but we have a government now that is trying to take over everyone's lives, and they can't do. They they shouldn't be allowed to do it, and we should be more encouraging of uh, laws that say that there's for less taxes and also for less regulations so that businesses can uh, become uh, more independent. And uh, that is the a fact and is not just my opinion but is also the facts. And also uh, f uh, we have to make sure that we're uh, uh, making a, a promise to our seniors. That was popcorn, or that was a 60-second soapbox. And let me know how you think of that segment. And do we have any movies? Um, Oz the Great and Powerful, five, star, five Bags of Popcorn, and Dead Man Down, Five Bags of Popcorn. Um, thanks for watching. He said you weren't going to do that anymore when, the, when we were doing the podcast. So you weren't going to do any more of the political stuff. It's not my problem. Well, it's it's both of our problems because people. I feel good about it.